to a healthy living video blog at workoutmaster.com. This is Ruben. And this is Aaron. We have another very interesting episode today. We're going to talk about bottled water. You will see it all over the place. Uh, people generally think that bottled water is safe and the best way to drink water out of. And uh, let's tear this one apart. Let's see what we think about it, Mr. Serrano. Better or safer? Neither. The fact of the matter is that bottled water, oftentimes, is not any better than actually municipal tap water. And there's several reasons why we will mention why this is so. Now, do I have anything against bottled water? Well, yes and no, of course. Because, you know, I think that people need to drink a lot of water on a daily basis. And a lot of people do not understand how important water is as far as getting a good source of it without having to spend a lot of money on it. Oftentimes, bottled water is 1,900 times more expensive than actually the tap water, which you could treat at your house, and it typically is 2,000 times more expensive to actually maintain, deliver, and distribute to, uh, to the masses. Well, we don't realize that how big of a business is bottled water. It's a billion dollar business just to give daily. You, just to give you an idea, uh, in 2008, I think it was about $3.6 billion worth of water sold within uh, the United States. That's huge. So you can understand how much money is moving around. Anytime there's that much money moving around, there's about that much interest into promoting or covering up things that shouldn't be covered up. Well, it has come to a point that if you look at every single bottle of water company that you can see in the supermarket from, you know, from 10 to 15 different brands, they all belong to the three or four top manufacturers of food in the country. Pretty much. One so. of the biggest one is Nestle, is a Swiss a Swiss company. Mm -hmm. uh, and depending which part of the world you live, uh, Arrowhead, uh, down like Southwest, uh, uh, Palm Spring, Northeast, South uh, East is uh, Zephyr Hills. Zephyr Hills. It's all owned by Nestle. So it's not that. There's different companies, believe it or not, that's just different brands all belong to the same company. Yes, and they, <laughs> and they do that for one specific, you know, loophole that they can actually maintain uh, with the law, with the FDA and with the EPA. Mm -hmm. And they, I think it goes something to the extent that actually when you have a factory manufacturing, you know, and kind of, you know, distributing this water, they don't have to attain to any regulatory laws as far as the quality of the water. That's interesting to know because this is a very... Uh, powerful loophole that they use to pretty much maintain the standards of the quality of water down to a bare minimum, comparing it almost to tap water. All they're doing is use a basic filtration to maybe mask some of the flavors that, you know, that, that the chlorine and other uh, chemical agents that they use to purify the water that is uh, normal on, on, uh, on the municipal water. Yeah, the, the biggest problems with the bottle of water is uh, a lot of times it's not better than the tap water, number one. Most of the time it's actually uh, just a filtered tap water, which companies mm -hmm. like uh, Pepsi-Cola and Coca-Cola, whichever one that does Aquafina and Dasani, basically proven that it is just a uh, filtered tap water. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the marketing strategy that they use, they put labels of uh, pristine lakes and forests and rivers, so it creates an imaginary, uh, imagery in your head that it actually comes from you know, this pristine environment, which in many cases is not. And on top of it, uh, the biggest cost of bottled of water is not the water itself, but mm -hmm. the packaging. Yeah. So all the plastic, all the advertising that has to do with it, mm -hmm. And that creates another problem because all of it is basically comes from petroleum products. And the petroleum products are extremely dangerous for our health. Environment. Uh, and environment too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both. So there has been research done with uh, how much plastic is actually out there uh, in the world slowly decomposing because it's a slow process. And how much we actually contaminated the world's oceans with it. So they send a research ship, by the way, this I get from the movie called Tapped. It's an excellent documentary about bottle of water. I would highly recommend you to purchase it. It's called Tapped. You probably can buy it on Amazon or just type in Tapped documentary. Excellent, excellent movie. So they had researchers sent out to an ocean where they go like a deep in the ocean, pull out anything they can, uh, you know, like a, with a nets. And they pulled out a bunch of bottles from like a deep ocean. I think it's personally quite sick. 
Yes. Uh, that we're polluting the environment like that. But don't get upset over things like this because this is going to happen, it's been happening. It will probably continue to happen until we really take ownership and responsibility for not polluting. Yeah, and it's as simple as doing this. Get yourself a good filter for the house. Filter your water, carry it in a container that actually is going to last, that is sustainable, that actually is, is not yeah, going to break. Like a stainless steel <clears throat> or glass container? Glass, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and avoid using as much bottled water as you can. And a lot of people are saying, well, you know, glass water, I mean, glass bo bottles are better for carrying water. They, they are, absolutely. But the problem is that you're still consuming things that we don't need. And if you can make them out of metal, you can toss them against the wall. I've done it already. And uh, nothing happens to them. But, you know, glass is actually, they said, you know, well, I buy glass water, I don't buy plastic. Because you're still contributing to pollution because actually to recycle glass is a thousand times more expensive than to recycle plastic. It's so recycling, transportation mm -hmm. cost and everything. Of it's stuff. heavier, you know, it's bulkier mm -hmm. and at the end you're not contributing to the solution. You're still becoming part of the problem and that's what we try to attain. Don't be part of the problem, be part of the solution. And in order to do that, get a good quality filter for the house. You're going to save a lot of money in the long run, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. And you can have always, you can be assured that the quality of water that you're drinking is of utmost, you know, Absolutely. benefit to you. Do uh, you have anything else? Well, a couple more things. Okay, go ahead. Uh, when you go to a restaurant and they put water on top of you and you take a sip of it and it tastes like, you know, like water out of the laundry room because they use actually were washing whites and they use chlorine, send it back and tell, them, tell, you know, tell the people do not serve me this kind of garbage water and make sure that the manager hears about it because what happens is that they're actually trying to sell you bottles of water. And I understand that they're there to make business, but at the same time, I like to see that restaurants take a little bit of you know of profit out of their out of their top and they actually serve filtered clean water when people do not want to buy bottles or when people do not want to drink tap water nasty chemically uh, treated in, in with their with their meals. So it's uh, it's okay to uh, ask restaurants to provide you with the filtered water, which you, by the way there's a lot of restaurants this day start doing it because they understand. Yeah, and they serve you, like I said, they serve you the garbage water. He goes, how come you didn't bring me filter water? He goes, because bottle. He goes, no, I don't want bottle water, I want filter water. He goes, oh, we don't have one. We'll tell you, got the manager to get one, please. Uh, remember guys, if you don't want it to grow, don't water it. So if you don't want this thing to spread around the country, don't be we, should, we, should, we should be uh, proactive about it. Absolutely, okay? I agree. Anything else? I think that's it. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, your future looks better already. And we're going to see you next time.